The following video contains scenes of violence, adult themes, suggested dialogue, and coarse language, such as shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Enigmatica 2. This is a uh, everything including the kitchen sink kind of mod pack for Minecraft, and I'm going to be playing this with the inspector. We're going to be playing individually, but together through a quest book system, meaning that he's going to get credit for the quests I complete, and I'm going to get credit for the quests he completes. We're going to be starting with Tinker's Construct. Now, if you don't know Tinker's, it's a really easy early on way of doubling up your resources or or doubling is how it's known. Um, you can get a smeltery going even on a small scale and uh, get some basic tools going pretty quickly using Tinker's and Tinker's is just a great way uh, to get started into other mods because it gives you the resources to actually start exploring those other mods very quickly. So Tinkers starts out at the most basic of levels with patterns. And patterns are used to give you the templates for the different parts of your Tinkers tools. Um, and the other thing you need is you need the Tinkers uh, book, in this case for the uh the, the quest so we're gonna make the tinkers book and we're gonna make the the patterns really quickly here and just get this out of the way really fast do, do, do. oh i got an idea we can make rice paper okay that's enough paper we're s and we can make it with string. Yeah, string. Yeah, there we go. Cool. All right, we have some books. Uh, so now we just need some patterns and we're good to go. Sticks, come on, give me sticks. There we go, sticks and uh, pattern, pattern. How do you... S pattern there it is yeah there we go yeah let's just do a shitload all right guys so that's quest number one done um i think we're just gonna work our way through all the patterns and i'll be back with you guys in a minute Okay, change my mind. We're going to open a bunch of our loot crates because uh, we got them from completing a couple of quests. Uh, okay, sure it. All right, I'll take it. And observer, whatever. Uh, it's an augment, augment, augment. Oh, okay, I think I know what that is. That's for, um, yeah, thermal expansion machines. Yeah, okay, I think I know what that is. Framing table. No clue what this one is. New to me. Is this? Uh, yep, I'm lost. No clue what this thing does. Eh, we'll look at it later. Ooh, paintings. Hmm. Okay, back to chests. Uh, factory block. Uh, no idea what this is. 
All right, we're gonna put all this stuff in here. And back to the patterns. Okay, I got totally sidetracked again. Um, I realized that we need a place to actually put our, uh, our, our smeltery and our workbenches and yeah. Oh, that is, that's a hole. Wow, what a hole. Um, let's fill this up. <laughs> I don't want to wipe out. Uh, so I'm going to dig out a space for us to uh, to actually have our uh, smeltery and our little tinker set up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the area that I've hauled out, and we're just going to pop down our benches. Uh, what do we need? We need part builder, part chest, stencil table, and something else. And uh, hold on, I put that backwards. Shit. One sec, guys. Sorry. And then part chest, and then yeah, there we go. That makes it so you can attach everything uh, from the different tables to the part chest, so you're not going back and forth. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's get uh, the smeltery bricks and we'll get the smeltery down and go from there. And I will be back in a minute whenever I got this going. Okay, so I think I got everything built. I want to do like a, a five by five. So three in the center, uh, like a three by three in the center and five by five uh, on the exterior. So that makes sense to me. I think you guys will get the gist of it, but I wanna dig down so it's on floor level with me. So let's just take a couple of things out and, oh, eh, that's gonna suck. All right, let's, um, man, my turtles have really made a mess of things. Let's see if we can patch this up and put a floor underneath this. You'll see why eventually, guys, but you, yeah, you don't wanna just be hanging it out in there. So let me see what I can do. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So I uh, I put a floor underneath this at least. Uh, now we're just going to build our three by three in the center, and then we're going to build our five by five on the outside. It's actually, like not really a five by five because you don't need the corners because I suck and I put this piece here. Uh, but. Uh, oh, and we need a spot in the front for our uh, controller. Um, furnace? Controller? For, um, furnace? Let's do furnace. Uh, I don't think furnace is right. I think furnace is wrong. We put it, put the controller next to it? No. Oh, tank, 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 tank. We need a tank. And now everything should be good, right? Maybe? We need our casting bins and all that sh Uh, no, hold on. Uh, I have screwed something up. Is it... Yeah, three by three, five by five. Yeah, 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 no, I did this right. Okay, guys, so I totally figured out what it is. Uh, you need to not have that furnace there. That furnace thing is not what you need here. Um, it's something else. Uh, but you need the controller. Um, I wonder if you could put the furnace in the center instead of the controller. Nope, furnace doesn't do squat. Okay, so it's just it's a controller and a tank. That's That's what you need there. Uh, okay, so now we just gotta toss some lava in the tank. Boom. And we can start our smelting. Wham! And we'll start smelting down some aluminum. And look at there. We have a tank of aluminum. Cool. Uh, now we gotta be able to get the damn thing out. Um, let me see if I remember how to do this. 
I think we need drains. Do they have to be the lowest part? I don't think they have to be the lowest part. Oh, shit. Right, drop a death. Uh, let's see if we can just, yeah, there we go. Yeah, now you see why I was saying you you want a floor underneath your uh, your smeltery here. Um, well, that sucks. Uh, let, let's see if we can take out the this corner block, put a drain in, and then we just need to put faucets on this drain, and then the table and basin underneath, and we should be good to go. And we put our table here, and our basin here, and then a tap on each side here and here. Okay, so we want to make this bigger. Um, we want to probably take it all the way up to the ceiling. Uh, it's probably for the best. That's probably like, what, 11 blocks? Grab this block. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll end up making this bigger, but uh, we'll work on the patterns and uh, tool parts first. So let's do that. Okay, guys, so fast forward a little bit. We've uh, we've got up to the ceiling with our uh, with our smell tree here. Um, I've got all my tools that I had to make a bunch of stuff for the quests, uh, shovels, pickaxe, all that stuff. But we've gone all the way up to the ceiling and we can now smell very large quantities uh, in, in this big beast. Um, yeah, I mean, going up to the ceiling makes it so we we have a lot of room in the uh, in the tank, and it, it it sounds silly to start with, but it's a good thing to start out uh, with a nice big fat smeltery because we can dump an entire like well, look, I just dumped a stack in there minus one. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that, that's gonna go a long way, uh, and then we can just ingot cast it really quickly. Pop though, and uh, I set up another drain on the other side. Uh, so we can, uh, we, we got that going. So we can literally just dump this thing out in insane amounts into blocks and into ingots really quick without any issues. Okay, guys. So I've done a little bit of light automation with the, uh, with our smell tree here. So I've basically set it up in a way that whenever, uh, Whenever we cast uh, an ingot or a block or whatever, uh, it's gonna end up in this chest here. Eventually. Mm, should end up in the chest here. There it is. That took a while. And there's the other one. Huh. Um. Okay, there's one. Where's the other one? I think I'm gonna have to work on my automation. Um, it's it's not too fancy. It's a little bit janky, but it, it's early on automation. It's what I had access to. But why? Huh? Okay, this one's not coming out. It's not finding the inventory of the chest. Um, okay, let me work on this and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so I think I got this working. Um, I put, uh, I got a bit of a different setup downstairs, but I put a second chest here and I now, if I flip a lever, 
it will just keep the faucets going. Um, so I can just cast multiple blocks and multiple ingots in one shot. Um, so yeah, like I have five blocks in here, so we can just do a couple more blocks. I can just leave this running and it'll just dump out the blocks in a lot faster, uh, in a lot faster time. Um, so that's working. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And turn that off and this one keeps going. Yeah. Okay. So everything's working and then it goes into that chest. Let me show you what I ended up changing down here. Um, cause yeah, I, I, I ended up cheesing it cause I don't know why, but that, uh, so the transfer nodes were working a little wonky and not actually finding the inventory and not going far enough. So what I've done is I've taken, uh, I've put hoppers right in here and I, they go to their own individual chests now, left and right. Uh, so yeah, I think that'll, that seems to have fixed the problem. It's a cheesy way, but it gets it done. So I dumped a bunch of our ores into our smeltery and I just wanted to show you guys the uh, the spoils. We got a, a pretty decent uh, amount of, a pretty good start to our, our ore uh, doubling. And uh, I used a bunch of the invar to make my tools and also a set of tools for the inspector. And yeah. But I ended up putting some dings and dents into uh, my shovel here. So let's just go and uh, do a quick repair on it really fast. Uh, it should only be one ingot. And uh, yeah, perfect. And let's pop back upstairs and take a look at our quest book. So as you can see, I've done uh, most of the Tinker's uh, quests line here. Uh, I did the, uh, the tool forge. Where is it? Uh, tool forge. Uh, I did that off camera. It's just uh, you replace your existing workbench or tool station with uh, with this one, and it's just um, blocks of iron and that stuff. Uh, and then we just have uh, we we got stuck on the sharpening ones because uh, we can't do obsidian quite yet. Um, so let's open some loot chests. So we got, uh, okay. Meh, more paintings, uh, plating, uh, maybe good. Ooh, I will take a toasted Western razor wire. What's razor wire do? Hmm. Huh. Uh, chicken curry done. I'll eat it. Ooh, boomerang. How's that work? No shit! It comes back. I mean, it's a boomerang, but still. Wow, that goes away. Cool. All right, guys, before we wrap up for, uh, for today, I just wanted to uh, give you a little bit of an update. Um, I wanted to just get some kind of basic power going in our base and then uh, so I, I, did, I did this, um, which is the Ender IO simple sterling generator. So when I look up generator, I was like, oh, okay, I know, I know Ender IO, that's, that's not too hard. And then I was like, oh, I, I don't remember these gears. Uh, okay, I, I understand iron ingots and nuggets and all that, but I was like, what the hell is a grain of infinity? So I, I looked into this a little bit, and so I have no idea what the hell is, uh, like I don't have the sag mail, but and I was like, I don't know where you get an infinity dust block, but damn. Uh, but then I looked here and uh, it looks, basically what you end up doing is you set bedrock on fire. I don't know what this is, but this actually fire water bucket. Okay, apparently if you put a fire water bucket on, on uh, bedrock, it does the same thing. But cool part is that if you light bedrock on fire, this stuff just starts popping out of it. And uh, yeah, that was really neat. I've never seen that happen before. Um, so the uh, so we got that. So we have a simple sterling generator now. And uh, but hilariously enough, then I I realized I was like uh, I think I was actually in this window, just tossing fuel in to see like oh okay well what what's it do um, power wise. And then it, I looked over on the other side and I was like oh wait. 
We have the survival generator. We have the furnace generator. Uh, we have extra utilities. And so uh, like these ones are, are way, way easier for, uh, for us to craft. And I just, I just blanked on it. I didn't even see the damn thing. Like this one, like the magmatic generator, this runs on lava. Um, there's a whole bunch of them that are, uh, that are super, super cool. And I just suck and I didn't even notice them. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is, right guys? Um, I mean, moving forward, well, I'm not sure which one's better. Like, I'm not sure if this one is, this one, like, I here, like, let's grab a, a thing of coal. All right, uh, coal. Like, I don't know how much, uh, a 30, I T is like I, I don't know how much a how much that actually is, um, and I don't know if the survival generator pushes out more because I think this pushes out R F. If memory serves, I think I think that's what the the survival generator pushes out, as well as like I think all of the extra utilities push out. Um, oh, you know what? They might punt, push out E U not RF. Either way, I'm not too sure. Um, oh, wind generator. That's a cute little, oh, wow. Uh, English, okay. What? Oh, oh, that's a, okay. We're going down the rabbit hole with mechanism at that point. Okay. It's, it's the layers. This is one of those, it's the layer on layer mechanism stuff. What about this one? That one's not that bad. That one's just infusing an osmium ingot. But yeah, that's we're, we're going down the rabbit hole with that one. Um, so something I'd like to get done next time is probably uh, some kind of good enough power for us to, to get our base going. Um, I'd also like to get um, a, a, an actual like proper mob farm because we, we're gonna really need the drops that come from a mob farm very soon. Um, things like um, gunpowder, uh, like I have, I think I have one piece of gunpowder, two pieces of gunpowder, eh, nope, I stand corrected. Seven pieces of gunpowder kicking around just from a couple of the creepers that we've killed around our base. Um, so we have some gunpowder, uh, we need some, we could really use bones for the farm. I think we ended up using all the bones up. Yeah, I don't see any bones in here. Um, so bones would come in handy. Uh, a really, really big one that we need is ender pearls for later in the game. Like actually not even later in the game. We're like some of the stuff that we're about to start really needs ender pearls. Uh, so that would come in handy like insanely soon. Um, and like, it's not something that we can use our turtles to mine. Um, so yeah, we, we really do need to get, get this going. Um, but yeah, things like that would, uh, would be really beneficial. Uh, and maybe we'll look into, uh, to dive in into, uh, maybe like mechanism or something that might be, that might be good if we dive into mechanism next, but oh, looking at mechanism makes my head hurt. Um, there's a lot to mechanism that I've never done before, but, uh, I mean, that's, I guess that's part of the quest book, right? Is that we, we have the quest book to kind of guide us through. So maybe we will use the, uh, maybe we'll look at that. Uh, especially like if the basic, oh, well, how about that? We already have the iron ingots and the redstone. Oh, well, even better. Um, so yeah, maybe we'll look at mechanism next. And uh, yeah, guys. So thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you've had a good time. And uh, if you like the video, toss me a thumbs up uh and if uh if you haven't already throw me a subscribe and uh don't forget to hit the bell so you know about all the new videos coming up uh this is just the first one of a very probably a pretty substantial series of uh of modded minecraft so uh yeah guys thanks for hanging out with me today have a good day cheers